Scientists from around the world have come together in support of a ban on nuclear weapons. Nuclear arms are the only weapons of mass destruction not yet prohibited by an international convention, even though they are the most destructive and indiscriminate weapons ever created. And scientists bear a special responsibility for nuclear weapons, since it was scientists who invented them and who discovered that their effects are even more horrific than first thought. Nuclear weapons represent one of the greatest threats to our civilization and to all life on Earth. As said, nuclear weapons are the only weapons of mass destruction not yet prohibited by an international convention. Now, this is the moment for such a convention. To me, the idea of having countries of the world get together and decide to uh, ban nuclear weapons in the same way they've had conventions to ban chemical weapons, biological weapons, and other things, uh, makes a tremendous amount of sense. Over a decade ago, George Shultz convened a meeting at Stanford. At that meeting, we reflected back on the Reykjavik summit meeting, where Reagan and Gorbachev discussed the possibility of a total elimination of nuclear weapons. Our meeting at Stanford was to determine whether it was worth revisiting that idea, and we concluded that it was. Many states want to keep their nukes for deterrence, despite being bound by the Non-Proliferation Treaty to give them up eventually. But some maintain dangerous stockpiles vastly exceeding deterrence requirements, and are developing new destabilizing ones with better first strike capacity. The world should agree and declare that this is not acceptable. The UN treaty supporters obviously aren't naive and think that a ban will magically rid the world of nuclear weapons. But a ban will add stigma, which as a first step will pressure the nuclear powers to slash their excessive arsenals down to the minimum level needed for deterrence, which would be a great step in the right direction. Not banning nuclear weapons or differing the decision to later generations will render the situation highly unstable or metastable, as we physicists say. It's something that is long overdue, but the sooner we can do it, the better, because it will make the world a far safer place. There's nothing more tempting to reduce violence than to have powerful weapons in the hands of people who may not have complete responsibility for the significance of those weapons. I'm Steven Pinker. I am a professor of psychology at Harvard University, and I support the ban. And I support the ban treaty because the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty has not succeeded in getting the nuclear weapon states to hold up their part of the bargain. So I'm strongly in support of an international ban on nuclear weapons. I support the ban on all nuclear weapons for the future of our planet. Today, the United Nations is considering a ban on nuclear weapons. The political effect of that ban is in, by no means clear, but the moral effect is quite clear. What we are saying is there ought to be a ban on nuclear weapons. Individual explosions can obliterate cities. Radioactive fallout can contaminate regions. And a high altitude electromagnetic pulse may cause mayhem by frying electrical grids and electronics across a continent. The preamble to the ban treaty mentions the humanitarian impacts of nuclear weapons as a reason to ban them. If we use nuclear weapons, we can produce a nuclear winter, sentencing most of the planet to starvation from the effects of the smoke. Fires from burning cities where the weapons explode rises high into the atmosphere. The smoke blocks sunlight. As a consequence, the planet cools off so much that agriculture is damaged which would lead to mass starvation on the planet and probably kill a large fraction of the people all over the world, even outside of the combatant countries. Even a very small nuclear war would cause tremendous disruption to the world's food supply. If we want to avoid the dangers of nuclear war, the dangers of accidental nuclear explosions, and the incredible cost to upgrade and keep a huge nuclear arsenal, we need to disarm. The only solution to this problem is to get rid of nuclear weapons. I support the ban treaty. I completely support a ban. I support the proposed ban on nuclear weapons. A nuclear war is more likely than one may hope, because it can start by mistake, miscalculation, or terrorist provocation. There is a steady stream of accidents and false alarms that could trigger all-out war, and relying on never-ending luck is not a sustainable strategy. But the UN negotiations to ban nuclear weapons offer a new source of optimism. 
Over 3,700 scientists from 100 countries have signed an open letter in support of the ban and urging their governments to do the same. Because nuclear weapons threaten not merely those who have them, but all people on Earth. As a mother and scientist, I wish you good luck with the negotiations. The world and future generations depend on your success.